gifts. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Wow. Um, we have gifts to thank people for, including 45 blend so coffee. So excited. From Thrashers. I'm going to have a cup right after this Facebook Live. Why is nobody here? Wait, there are four. They're coming. Okay. They're coming. Um, it's bold, bold American coffee. Yeah, it's bold. From Thrashers. Yeah, it's bold. You can find Thrashers at thrashercoffee.com. And it's a conservative, um, it's a conservative com uh, coffee company. So you should support them. Yeah. Look Thrashercoffee.com. Look, look at that, you guys. Is that not the greatest? <laughs> look at that. 45 blend. 45. 45. Compatible with all of your K-cup things. See, look. Thrashercoffee.com. <laughs> so you yeah, definitely want to get some of that. They're in Dallas, Georgia. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So Thrasher so Coffee, that. check them out. Also, anonymously, we received the most epic gift of all time. Most epic gift. Are you guys ready for this jelly? I don't know if you are. I don't think I was ready for this this morning when I walked in. I was like, I'm really hungry. <laughs> and I was, and on my way, because we're texting back and forth. I'm texting her as I'm walking in. And I'm like, I wanted to get donuts. And no donut shops are open. Um, they don't open around here. Some some are open, but they don't open till like 7 o'clock, which is way it's too late. Okay. It's not okay. Because there are some of us who go to who go to work at like six o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I need donuts. And so she's like, you're gonna like this cause this is, you know, like the, the next best thing. I wish we know who's, I wish we knew who sent this. I hope you're out there. Because I I cried with joy you guys, about this Greatest gift, gift ever. <laughs> Eat a bag of dicks. You guys look, they're gummy, they're gummy dicks. <laughs> Can you see? This is the greatest thing look. ever. Look at them. Look and here's the thing, you guys. We're going to eat them. We're going to eat them. We're going to eat them. They're gummy dicks. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I cannot. I mean, that's love right you there. You guys, somebody sent us gummy penises. I just. I can't. I'm going to show don't... you again. Look at them. No, show the sign. Eat it. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot I mean, deal. Could we have better followers? It's no. The, it's the greatest thing. Next. We I, couldn't. We know you're out there. <laughs> we know you're out there, whoever you are. That is the sweetest I mean, thing that you overcome. sent us. Gummy penises. Eat a bag of them, you guys. Yeah. Eat a bag of them. <laughs> Eat a bag. I wish I knew who sent it. But I it's know. Just, oh, my God. It's the, I looked the sweetest for card. thing. The only thing that was in the package was this, um, like, how to get them, right? So yeah. visit ruinedays.com slash revenge. Yeah. I, but you did. Oh, it says to see if the sender left you a personalized <gasps> note. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> we got to look. Okay, so look. She's going to go look and see if there's a personalized note. But that. How do we do that? But it didn't do? ruin our day. It absolutely made our day. Oh I mean, God, RJ is, is made because, and they're really like, they're big. They're big. I'm checking. She's checking to see. Yeah. So we're going to be eating these today. We're yeah, going to we be are. eating them during our show. Because who doesn't love gummy bears? I love the person who did this. Okay. We need a tracking number. Oh, uh, let's God. Let's enter the 22 digit. Okay. Do you, have a, do you have a tracking yeah, number? Yeah, I'm going to find She's it. She's finding the tracking yeah, number right really now. It's really important because. Hold on. All right. All right. So you guys, did you hear? You just tell them. What's in the going meantime, on. we're going to be talking today a lot about like uh, the Flynn stuff. You guys, it's it's busting wide open. All this Flynn stuff. I don't know how to find the tracking number. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You want me to? You want me to do it? Well, where is it? Is there? Is it? It's right there, and it's, it's oh. hidden. I'll do it. We gotta. Hold on, I gotta get it off of there. Because we have to know. I mean, this is like the greatest. This is one wanna, of the greatest okay, gifts we've ever received. Okay, there it is. It's okay. those four. I mean, it's four, four, four. Can you read that? And it's like, I think it's... Is that an eight? I'll try I think it. it's an eight. Yeah. Because we just it's like... It's 22 yeah. digits though. That's not 22 digits. Oh, well crap. Here, hold on. That it's, looks that's like... It. That's it. That's 12. Hold that's on. All. That's 12. Hold on. Let me see. Because it's terrible. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 4, 8, 12, 16. Uh, that's not going to work. We need 22 numbers, man. Yeah. Yeah. Crap. Well, hold on. It's it that it may not be the FedEx tracking number. It may be there's got to be another tracking number. Oh, it's twelve for FedEx. It's okay, twelve there, for FedEx. There okay. it is. Okay, it, twelve. There's twelve. All right, okay, there's twelve. About Flynn. Okay, anyway, so sorry guys, <laughs> you're like watching us do this live. So, um, anyways, we're talking about Flynn today, which I don't know if you guys watched Tucker last night, but he was on fire. I mean, he was like ripping best Tucker ever. Ripping struck a new, you know what hole last night and I was there for it. I was totally there for it. These people need to be held accountable. Comey needs to go down for this. Struck, Struck and Paige need to go down for this. They all are just so corrupt. I cannot believe this is happening 
at the level that it is. The FBI is, listen, I'm not saying everybody in the FBI is corrupt, but those people were power hungry and we can tell that they're political and they're not supposed to be political. They're not supposed to be biased, right? And they, they ruin it's this guy. Found. It's not found. It's guys. not found. I mean, I'm doing 3922785. No, 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 no. You got to do 0201. 3922. But it's that first number, the first four numbers are 0201. That's the first, those are the first two. But it four says numbers. it's a 12 digit number. Yeah, four, four, eight. Oh, no, 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 no. It's this number. It it's, says it's 12? Yeah, it's a 12 digit for FedEx. I figured it would be 16. Mm -mm. Uh, and so I tried eight and I tried six for that. Maybe it's S. I don't think there's letters in there, is no? there? No. I'll try it again. Okay. Anyways, Keep maybe, maybe three. Try three. Okay. Okay, <clears throat> anyways, but it's, I cannot believe the level of corruption that we're dealing with at the FBI, and I just hope that it busts so wide open that they are held accountable, and I just want to see Comey go to jail. I just want to see him go to jail. Tucker was on fire. It was fantastic. And then he had that guy from uh, Maine on. What was his name, Mary? Rick Savage, you guys. Did you guys see Rick Savage? If you haven't seen it, the clip is on our website, yeah. Chicks on the you, you have to see him. This guy was epic. Oh so my he's, God. he's a restaurant owner, and he owns this it's restaurant. Hopeless. We're not going to find it. Yeah, I'm sorry, you guys. Whoever sent that to us, though, thank you. Thank so you this so much. guy is in Maine. He owns a restaurant, this giant restaurant, right? And he's talking about the governor of Maine and what a sea hag she is. My Janet words, Mills. not him. Janet Mills. Janet Mills, we were trying, I was trying to, I was like, who does she look like? She's like, she looks like a cross between Hillary Clinton and Austin Powers. Yeah. <laughs> if you look, her teeth. She's not, like, get, it's not okay. Get that taken care of, lady. So she's, yeah, I don't know how this woman became governor, but, but he just called her out for everything. Like he was like, listen, the only re cause they've had what? 44 deaths, 55. And then they have 33, 58 deaths. And they have 33 people currently hospitalized in the state, in the entire, in the whole state, state in so the entire I mean, state. And so she's, but she's locked it down, locked down the entire state for that many deaths, which listen, any death is bad, but for that many deaths in an and, entire state and one out of every seven people in Maine are now unemployed yeah. due to her policy. So this guy, he owns the Sunday river uh, brewing company. And he was like, I am opening on May 1st yeah. because that was the original open date. We've been preparing this whole time. We are opening period. Yeah. And, and he's like, like and he's like, listen, people can sit six feet apart. He's my restaurant. They're all set up. He goes, I can make sure that people can social distance. I can make sure this happens. I'm going to do it. You know, she can, she can bite me. And so he's going to do it. And he called her out. He put her, he put her phone number, her cell phone number out there. He's like, call her directly. And, and Tucker's like, Cause she oh, won't no. respond. Yeah. Cause she, she won't respond. To she him. won't respond because this is what a lot of these governors are doing, right? They're just like putting this stuff out and then they're like, I can do it. You know, screw you. I have no accountability because I'm the governor. And he's like, oh, I'm holding you accountable. And I want everybody to hold her accountable too. So here's her phone number. And the worst part is, is that she's purposefully tanking their state so that they can get federal money mm -hmm. to bail themselves out. Yeah. Which is w probably what a lot of states and are doing. And he called her out on he that so too. He so called her he out. He called her out on that too. And his name is Rick Savage, you guys. It's like the most perfect name ever. Right? And you could tell that he was, a, at first he was a little bit nervous. He was kind of like, you could tell he was a little like, oh, my t I'm on TV, oh my God. By the end of the interview, he was just going to town. He was, God, it was so he good. Was, he was like, let's start a revolution, man. Yeah. It was awesome. It was really great. It was he was so great. And Tucker's just kind of sitting there going, okay, he's totally giving her cell phone number <laughs> out. Wow. This is I, crazy. I knew, because like, I was watching it in real time, and I thought Twitter is going to erupt. And they did. They went there with their phone number. Because, like, he's not even, yeah. oh, yeah, but people were putting out her phone yeah. number. But, like, I don't think that company that I could find is on Twitter, or if they have, like, a really old account that's not active. Yeah. But everyone was, like, tweeting about Rick Savage and how savage yeah. he was. And that governor man, she yeah. can do this. Right? That's what she can do. She's uh, she's awful. I just, I cannot believe that woman is a governor. So many people I can't believe are governor. I know, right? These people are, uh, my 10-year-old is smarter than so many of these people. I just, <laughs> I cannot deal. I don't get it. So, yeah, so there's that. There's the Flynn stuff that's starting to come out. I The whole Joe Biden thing with the, the Tara Reid stuff is starting to. At 8 o'clock, he's supposed to be on with Joe and Mika. Uh-huh. And there's these people are making excuses for, for all of the, the hypocrisy that's happening with our media, with Democrats. They're just like, what? 
What's the well, what? There's no so Mika. There's no hypocrisy. What Mika is saying. This is how she's trying to excuse it all away. First of all, the whole lead up to his, you know, addressing the allegations is to talk about how many women have accused Trump of some sort of sexual. This whatever. is how they're trying this to. How they're doing this is it. how they're trying to deflect. <laughs> but Mika is yeah. basically saying, well, the reason, you know, the right wing is complaining that the same standard isn't being applied to Biden as was applied to Kavanaugh, and that's because the standard applied to Kavanaugh was wrong. And that, and so now we're not doing that anymore. Oh my God. <laughs> this is I what mean, these people are doing. It's insane. I just, and then we got Pelosi saying, well, Joe Biden is Joe Biden. And, and, Pelosi, so, and Pelosi's also, to that reporter yesterday, she was like, I don't need a lecture. Because Joe Biden is Joe Biden. That's why it's different. I don't need Literally, a, that was her answer. You know what she needs a lecture about? Is that stupid neckerchief she was wearing yesterday. It looked like a tumor. Does she understand that that doesn't do anything? No, it just... Like putting like a what, face covering around your neck? But, what, but it, I, I think she actually was wearing it as a neckerchief. No. Like, I don't know what that was. I think it was... She wears a mask some of the time. And then she like puts and it down? And then she just pulls is it down. Is that what she's doing? I think so. I don't know. Because I've seen her wear these big things and she's got them... Yeah. Like when she has something on her face, it's always one of those it was like an Hermé <laughs> neckerchief. Probably. And she's like, this is my face covering. <laughs> it costs $14,000. And what, I have you to don't have down one? to eat my gourmet ice cream. You don't cream. have one? I have a $24,000 fridge that you guys <laughs> paid for, minions. Don't lecture me. Oh, my God. Don't lecture me. She can't can, stand and now, that one. You know, on Twitter last, I, last night, Joe Biden is Joe Biden was trending. <laughs> Like, that phrase was trending. Joe Biden is Joe Biden. Joe Biden is Joe Biden. He's Joe Biden, you guys. So, I mean, that's why it's different. He's Joe Don't Biden. You see? He's the guy that puts women up against walls, and then he, does, he like, sexually assaults them, and when they don't want that, he goes, come on, man! <laughs> I mean, you know, that's what that's what Joe Biden does. You know the thing. God, the you know the thing is out of control. It's so out of control. The media gives him so much cover. There's going to be nothing, nothing. Meanwhile, Kavanaugh. I mean, the the woman comes forward, right? Christine Blasey Ford. I need some caffeine, caffeine if it's available. If it's available, I need some caffeine. She comes forward. Nobody corroborates her story, no right? One. Not as, like not even her best friend. Who her was best friend, there? Her best friend's supposedly. like, I don't remember <laughs> you. I don't, who are you? <laughs> I don't even know who you. I'm unfamiliar like, with you. Yeah, like nobody corroborates her story. They but Kavanaugh this, said "boof" in his yearbook. Oh well, okay. so obviously he's guilty obviously, of sin. Obviously, he is. They they like parade him out there, do this giant spectacle. We all have to watch it for. I mean, it was just this ridiculous thing, right? And. And then with Joe Biden, there there are people who are corroborating her story, and the records are sealed. What I mean, isn't that interesting? What nothing? <laughs> and now it? they're trying to say, well, of course they're sealed because Trump won't release his tax returns. Oh my God, this is what they're what? saying. <laughs> These people, it's out of control. Are, they're despicable. They're absolutely despicable. Yeah, it's yeah. Out of and Alyssa Milano can suck it. <laughs> she can totally suck it. Uh, you guys, Anderson Cooper is a father. <laughs> Alyssa Milano. <laughs> Just, she can go. eat a bag of these. She can't have these though because we, no, we we're are gonna, gonna eat those. these. <laughs> we're gonna eat these. Yeah. Anderson Cooper is a dad thanks to some surrogate who had his baby. Who, who, by the way, that surrogate is married with kids of her own, and she's not being named, but like she gave birth to Anderson Cooper's new son. So that happened. And I don't, apparently I don't he, understand. He got all cry. Listen, I think it's sweet that he had a baby, but I don't understand the adoption process. I don't because I know like married couples who get turned down. For well, babies. this was not an adoption. It was right? a surrogate. This was just a surrogate. Okay. Like, so it was organized. So, like, you can just themselves. get a baby from your friends? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how she was inseminated. Like, I'm sure that was a turkey baster thing, right? Okay. Because he's yeah, not going to have sex with her. And she's married. Yeah. So, anyway, I don't think he's involved with anybody. So, it's just him, this 52-year-old gay dude, who's now a dad to Wyatt Morgan Cooper. That's so cool. that's a cool name. Congrats to him. I like that name. I guess. I like but, I mean, there was, like, a four-minute segment about that on his show. Like him sharing his baby news. Peter wants us to wear a two-piece tomorrow. <laughs> I, I okay, tomorrow is Saturday, so it's I maybe. <laughs> I, I, we may. But it's also really cold here. It's no, like, tomorrow's uh, going to be 78. Is it? Yes! This weather makes zero sense, I'm so guys. excited. It makes zero sense. I don't understand the weather in Indy. He is gay. All. Anderson Cooper is gay. Yeah, he's gay. That's, kind of, that's why, and he even said, like, on the news, he was like, I never thought as a gay child that I would have a child of my own Did one you get, he was Gloria Vanderbilt's son, too, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. Or is it? He is. I'm sorry. He, <laughs> well, is, he didn't stop. No he didn't stop us. being her son. 
Yeah, but she's no he longer. actually is Gloria Vanderbilt's son. Yeah. Um, it's Friday. So bring on your questions. Do you have any questions? I have to get close because I can't see. Um, maybe it was to terminate her rights. Maybe that's about the surrogate that they're saying that. Yeah. You score an interview with Nancy Pelosi. What is your first question? And will you tell her to eat a bag of these? Yes. We would totally tell her to eat a bag of these. Oh, God, at the end of the interview, My first though. question. Um, Why are you so awful? What Catholic church does she attend? <laughs> That'd be too easy because she would just say. Yeah, because I don't The question think, is, I, why does that church allow her in the door? I don't think that she actually is Catholic. I think she's full of crap. Do they make bags of vaginas? I don't know. I'm guessing you could probably order up some bags. Probably. Of, I don't a think bag that, of these. I don't think, I, don't, I don't think that they would be as fun looking as these. <laughs> these are fun, you guys. Eat a bag. Um, if you don't understand the weather now, wait till you move to Texas. Uh, no. It just, I don't think it gets as cold there, though. I mean, we really dip. We really dip here. Indiana's nuts, and especially it's a lot, in the spring. It's a lot more gray here. I mean, it's just we get the yeah, grays for like gray. several months. We'll get like six months of gray, and it's not fun. Did you see hearses driving around Atlanta protesting? No, but did you guys see what went down in Michigan? Yeah. Michigan was all kinds Michigan of crazy yesterday. Pretty, Michigan was pretty crazy. I mean, crazy. The, the people there protesting, they were carrying firearms, and like the lawmakers were wearing bulletproof vests, and they voted on a resolution to be able to sue the governor for overreach, which is kind of amazing because yeah. she can't veto it. Yeah. So things are going down for real up there in Michigan. If any of you are from Michigan and want to weigh in. Can you, do you consider yourself extroverts or introverts? I'm an extrovert. I mean, I don't know. I like when I go home at night. I'm pretty much all kind of keep to myself. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of both. <laughs> well, I mean, like if you take the the Myers Briggs or whatever, I'm an E. Uh, yeah, I don't. You're an E, I guess. Yeah. Um, it is ninety nine degrees in Texas. Oh, wow. God, that sounds glorious. First question. That's right. Will you please eat a bag of D's? Yep. Eat a bag of D's. <clears throat> You guys tried to adopt for years, and with all the legal fees and hoops, we had nothing but trouble. I, yeah, I mean, it's. Well, you, do you think we'd be back to normal by summer? No. Depends on these governors. And depends on what you um, define as normal. Yeah. What did we do prior to COTR? I was an HR recruiter, I was a medical writer and a um, professor. What? Oh, I missed that. <clears throat> you really need to move the camera a bit towards the door. We can only see half of your face. Yeah. Is that I, me? I think it's this this way. And there's like a weird glare coming in. I know. It's now. all wide and weird. Yeah, yeah. the sun's out. Yeah, the sun's I can, I can move Trump. Maybe he can. He can shadow help, us. He can help shadow us. Um, Michigan wants to move forward, right? Well, everybody does. This is out of control, what's happening right now. I'm a youper. <laughs> I'm proud of my that. Michigan that family. That didn't do anything. Didn't do anything? <laughs> it didn't. No, it didn't. didn't. Now the glare, it's like hard to see the questions. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to turn this back just so that we can see the questions. I'm oh moving. my God. I'm moving things. <laughs> Hold on. I'm that's moving. actually, that's helping a little, I think. Helping? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you can sue a governor like a judge. You can't sue a judge. But it's for the lawmakers to be able to do it somehow, How is about? what I understand. That's. That's helping. Yeah, I think that's helping. I think that might be helping a little. Um, the only thing good at... Oh, I missed that. Is that better? I think it's a little better. I mean, it's not great, but... Do you really think Bill Barr would get involved to it's prosecute the FBI losers? Oh, I hope so, man. Some People have got to be held accountable for this Mike Flynn stuff. This is absolutely amazing. How is Peter Strzok not in jail? How? Yeah, and that, that hag of a girlfriend. Oh, yeah, Lisa yeah. Page. Yeah, she's pretty awful. Yeah, horrible. Yeah. Governor of Missouri for overreach. He's a D. Bag it. Hey, Muncie. <laughs> um, hi, Rob. Yeah. Hey, hi, Rob. you have, um, can you read this on the air, please? And then also you have Come say hi. Did you see what we well, got? We got a bag mail. of dicks. What? Look, look. I don't touch the mail anymore. Look what we got. What do you mean you don't touch You can it? open it. Look what we got. You want me to open your mail? You're not looking. Eat a bag of these. I'm not into dudes. I like your story. It took him so long to register what He's, that he was. Not like he did his it. own mail. Why are you so afraid of your own mail? Hello, Rob. Oh my God. What is it? Is there? It's a, he's a chi It's a person from China. I'm a Chinese from Taiwan. I'd like to critique Chinese culture on Taiwan and China government anytime, but I can't stand people use fake info to smear my language. <laughs> oh my God. This is you're getting so ripped on. Oh my the God. The soundtrack you. 
<gasps> you use sounds like a Japanese or Korean trying, trying to, to speak, speak Chinese. Chinese. It sounds, it sounds ugly. ugly. I've never heard any Chinese spoke like that. Go to listen the national broadcast from China on or Taiwan. That's how I and more than eight percent, eighty percent of Chinese people speak. If conservatives claim they are rational and honest, they have to be consistent. Critique on ha or, or hate, hate China, China is okay, but use fake info <laughs> to insult their language is shameful. By the way, you often ask Mock to repeat Chinese names. It seems you were interested in how to pronounce them. That's funny because Mock is awful in pronouncing Chinese. <laughs> speaking Chinese is totally different from speaking Japanese. That's another failure in looking for the fact. You are fearless in critiquing Eric Holcomb. That's our governor. That's true. That's great. That's but true. if you just talk, Holcomb will be governor forever. Maybe start looking for a good candidate for 2024, encouraging that person to run and persuading Trump. I think it's the next page. He wrote the letter on like- To endorse that person. After 2020, Trump won't defend or oh, on, on our local, local Republican, Republican party. Yeah. He can endorse anybody. This is private communication. Please keep it private. Oh Whoops. crap. <laughs> You may have wanted to say that at the beginning of the letter and not at the end oh of the my letter. God. <laughs> Just don't say the name. Yeah, I'm not saying the name. Yeah. That was a that was a and it's it was a letter that came to Rob. Today. And it was written on the back of a Donald Trump. Oh, it's a stimulus. It's a st it's What? A, it's how much the person got in stimulus. Right? No, I think it's just on a like a Donald Trump campaign, like a campaign letter, thing. like one of those like stop campaign. That's letters. hilarious. That's pretty funny. Okay, but also, will you can you read that in speed? Okay, or so yeah, this is, you can touch it. Hey, it's fine. Hey, you guys, keep that letter private. <laughs> yeah, keep it private. And Don't for say the anything. record, that clip is Creed from The Office. Right. It's not like it's an act. We're not posing it as an actual. Yeah. If Chinese you guys listen clip. to our show, he plays a lot of like clips that sounds. It's like a Chinese man speaking Chinese. It's, I mean, it's hilarious. It's funny. It's, it's funny. Not, I can't believe we haven't been fired for it. Because <laughs> no, it's so yeah. Chinist, you guys. It's so Chinist. Oh yeah. my God. We should have done the damn virus. <laughs> it's true. They shouldn't have sent us a virus. <laughs> they shouldn't have done that. Do you think Joe Biden knows he's Joe Biden? No. Some days he mm, might. Not, I mean, like, like some of the time. It's going to get worse, you guys. He just doesn't know what he's running for it's gonna on any get, given day. It's going to get worse. I can't believe I read that whole letter and it's like, please keep this private. Oh my God, make General Flynn the head of the FBI. <gasps> Wouldn't that oh. be the best? <laughs> oh my God, I love that idea. That, and Trump I said- I didn't say your name. That's like the great- Trump said he's he considering let him back in. For yeah. something that's in the in administration. Our, that's in our lineup today. Oh my God, that is the greatest <sighs> idea. Whoever said that, that's That brilliant. was awesome. That's brilliant. Have you seen the new CARE Facebook reaction? No, no. I haven't. Is I it like an emoji? I didn't know that. There's a Facebook page for fans of Dr. Fauci. Oh, give me a break. I, you I, guys, like two years ago, I saw I saw an interview of him like two years ago, and his voice is not scratchy at all. I don't understand how he got that. It's just like it, recently. Yeah. He's just become all scratchified. Yeah, high school graduations are canceled. That breaks my heart. I I, it so just absolutely sad. breaks my heart. So sad. And you know what? We I heard a thing this morning that said if, if um, and I'm sure this is um, nationwide, if Indiana high school sports don't get going in the fall, they're gonna tank. I mean, they're gonna be in a world of financial hurt. They will not recover. They've gotta get things going. They have to get, because they, re they, they, they require funds. They yeah. require people doing things. They require students doing the sports. They have to get that up and running. <laughs> Biden, knock, knock, Trump, who's there? Biden, who's, who's where? where? <laughs> <laughs> Did you call the governor of Maine last night? I did not personally mm -hmm. call her, but I know a lot of people were ringing that number for sure. She thinks that um, she looks like a cross between Hillary Clinton and Austin Powers. And I was like, that's a man, baby. <laughs> Fight me. because Change my yeah. mind. Because I'm serious. If you look at a picture of her. Yeah. It's, it's bad. It's um, hey, Trace. Hi, Trace. Do you think Bernie will be the nominee if Biden is forced to step down? Well. No. <laughs> Because you, you keep yeah. holding on to those delegates. I, yeah, I got delegates in my basement. <laughs> no, I don't I don't think so. I think it's going to be whoever, I think it's going to be like a, a woman. It'd probably be like some, be like, you know, Kamala or something. For president? Yeah, they'll put somebody up like that. Oh my Lord. Yeah. Uh, mm. Beach Grove did cancel. <laughs> Beach Grove is a, a city here in Indy and they already canceled their 4th of July fireworks. And I don't understand why people are doing yeah. this. I don't get it. I just don't I mean, understand it. Because we're two, two, more than two uh -huh. months away from that. They're just one of many. It's crazy. Because they're, they're already doing it all over the country. They're canceling fireworks. And it's, I, these people are out of their minds. Mm -hmm. 
For real. I don't know why we're doing this. Hi, Heidi! Do you think the Dems are using the Rona as cover for economic and social resets? Well, they keep saying that, right? Like Hillary, Hillary literally said in her thing about endorsing Biden, she was like, listen, we shouldn't let this go to waste. Yeah. I mean, she's saying Never all let of a the tragedy things. go to waste. It's somebody asked if there's a, a chicks on the left. There, oh, there, that's a story. <laughs> it's a really funny story. We actually, um, we have chicks on the left. Well, we own the website. We own it. We bought that, like, the moment that we opened, like, we started our website, mm -hmm. we also bought that domain. So yeah. if you go to chicksonthelift.com, it automatically redirects yeah. to our website. Mm -hmm. um, but there is a Facebook page yeah. that... Um, it was really cute. They started it, and they were like, <laughs> we're going to take you down. And we were like, yeah, fuck We're going to do way better. I, it's so funny that... Because people don't realize how much work goes into actually having a website and a Facebook, a corresponding Facebook page. And so they think that they're going to just be like gangbusters and doing this. They're gone. And um, Oh, they're gone now? That's cute. They're gone. Yeah. And they were like, we're going to take you down, chicks. <laughs> and so they, we were like, that's... <laughs> that's cute. Yeah. And they tried. <laughs> They tried, and they got a couple followers, and then now they're gone. Yeah, I think yeah. they got like up into the like a thousand or something. No, no, no. they were thousand. like sixteen, seventeen thousand after cute. about three or four years. That's cute. And then that just fizzled out. Yeah, that was cute. Last couple days, I know you, you ladies are being widened. I know we don't know I why. Know, I know we it's don't. Like we, they made us. He, Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> from Fleabag Nine is making us look like Kim Jong Un. So we are very wide. <laughs> I don't it's need not my. It's not my phone. I don't it's need not my, my face settings. to look any wider than it already is. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know why that's the thing, but there's nothing we haven't been able to figure out why. It we've been it. eating a lot of cheese, and we've been eating a lot of uh, a lot of we're gonna be yeah, eating a lot of gummy bears. Eat a bag of of these. <laughs> Thank you for God, that. I wish I knew who said that. Somebody's going to have to send us an email at chicks <laughs> at wibc.com and tell us who that is. For we, real. We have to thank that person. We have to. Best gift of all time. Exactly. And also, just a reminder, you should get Thrasher Coffee. Yeah, here's here's the, the information. Thrashercoffee.com. Make sure that you're getting Thrasher Coffee, especially the 45 blend, because it's bold. <laughs> it's bold, you guys. It's bold. Yeah. Uh, never you guy are great. You, Thanks. I think you make you guys. <laughs> you guys. What about Hillary making play? Hillary won't do it. If they put Hillary up, it's going to be a disaster. It already is a, they're already a disaster, you guys. If they put Hillary up, God. no. Does she really want to go through that again? Yes, she does. She does want to go through it again. Oh, my she's God. She's desperate. Absolutely desperate for attention and to be president. She just can't, she's that chick. She's like Stacey Abrams. Yeah. Did, I she didn't can't. lose. I didn't right. lose. I can't let go. I just she can't. She can't accept it. She can't. These can't. people are just pathetic. Are you going to take phone calls again? Yeah, you know, we haven't done that on our show. And we haven't. We haven't. Forever. Yeah, we need to find a topic where we can take phone calls. I don't know why we haven't. We just... How tall haven't. are we? How tall are we? I'm 5'3". I'm a midget. I'm like 5'6 and a half. Am I allowed to say midget? Or is that like one of those You're words supposed I'm not to say I'm a little, little person. person. I mean, I'm not, I'm not like officially, but she's not oh. officially. She's not like on, she's not going to be on like TLC. Little people. Yeah. I'm not going to be on that show. But she is little. She's like a pocket person. <laughs> I have very tiny parents. That's mm -hmm. why they are called the birds. Yeah. Uh, all this is to crash the economy to hurt Trump. Every Democrat is in on it. I mean, I don't think it's like it was on. I don't think the virus was meant to do that, but now they're using it as a way yep. to, to do that. Yeah. Absolutely. I really think we should open up the economy again. We got to get going because it's going to, listen, we're all going to be hurting because of it. I think even the people who are, there's so many people right now who are using the narrative and, and, and saying, if you want to open up the economy, you want to kill my grandma. That's not okay. It's just simply not okay. It's infuriating mm -hmm. to be accused of not caring about health, of not caring about people, simply because we do care about people losing their entire livelihoods. Yes, a lot I mean, of them have already lost it. We're, we, there are 30 million people now in the government dole. That's 10% of our population. Did I do math right? Yeah. You did. 10% of our population. That's a lot, you guys. Yeah. And, and that's just in, what, six weeks? Uh, this is the worst economy now since we're heading towards, you know, what we were doing in the Great Depression. That's... We got to wake up and realize that this is not okay. It's not okay. It's just not. And that is, we're saying that because we care about 
people. Yeah. So that's like a stark contrast to, to, to the narrative, right? Yeah. That they're pushing out there. Oh, you just don't care about people dying. Yeah, we do. But you know what? This virus isn't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's the problem is that even if we get a vaccine, and I don't know if we will, it may not be like the end all be all that's going to Vaccines aren't full eradicate it. Vaccines are not foolproof. Of course they're not. They're just vaccines. It's like the flu vaccine. I get the flu vaccine. I still get the flu, you know? And we may not have a vaccine for 18 to 24 months. And there's a whole lot of people that are going to be like very afraid of that vaccine yeah. wherever it comes from especially if it comes from bill gates i mean yeah uh if we don't open up the economy then you will kill a lot more than grandma well exactly i mean this has a huge impact yeah including it does. death I'm i know cuomo likes to say it's not death when kids get abused when there's domestic violence uh -huh. that doesn't equate to death when people well, sometimes are, it does yeah, when people are committing suicide because they don't have a job and that's happening already that's mm -hmm. happening so it, it really does make a difference in people's health. health. There are health outcomes because of joblessness. People are not taking that into consideration. It's huge. Yeah. I can't imagine what the ramifications would be right now if I lost my job, if my husband lost his job. I just, I'm grateful every day to God that I'm still employed and that so, and so is he. I, it just, it, it breaks my heart when I see people. We get emails every day from people yeah. who have lost their jobs. We got, well, we're gonna read one on the air today from a woman who ha owns a CrossFit gym who um, they were shut down. And they're totally able in that gym to be socially distanced. Yes, and they can't. The government is saying you can't have your company. You cannot have your business that you basically scrimped and saved for your whole adult life. Now you're shut down. They're not able to do what they want to do. This is not okay. It's and just not and they okay. get to just decide willy nilly who the winners are going to be and who the losers yeah. are going to be. Like so, if you're if you own a Kroger or a Target or a Walmart, you get to stay open. You're fine. Yeah. Right? If you own a CrossFit gym, we deem you non non official. No, I'm sorry, non essential. And I this whole essential non essential thing, I don't. I just don't buy into it because the government is deciding who's essential and who's non essential. Well, I think all work is essential. If you have to feed your family and you have to make a living, you're essential. And you can't point to any kind of science that makes sense about why a beach or a state park is closed where you've got fresh open air and sunshine, right? And then it's okay to congregate in a Lowe's. I'm yeah, sorry, but there's no science that is gonna say that makes sense. Yeah. And this golf course is allowed to stay open, but then this other outdoor place is not allowed to stay open. It's just It's nonsense. like the government is just, they don't make any sense, because the government doesn't make sense. <laughs> Right. There was, I fought with a woman on our, I think, well, yeah, I'm sure it was a woman because her name was Violet. I don't know if that was her real name, but I fought with her on our website about this. And she's like, why do you think you know more than the government officials? Well, the government officials are no different than we are, yeah. except we are forced to pay for them. Wow. That's literally and, the only difference. And when these people start thinking that the government is the end all be all and they are the all knowing. That's a terrifying thought. It is terrifying. You got to stop it. You got to stop thinking that these people know everything. Yeah. They are not your masters. We are not subjects. Stop it. Uh, only Chinese products seem to be able to be sold. That's an interesting well, thing. We, we gotta need, get we rid need of to that. well, we need to start making more things in the United States. And it may hurt for a while, but we need to get over it. We gotta start doing more American made stuff. They gotta be forced to pay in some form or fashion. Yeah. For this entire collapse of the world, essentially. Totally. totally. Uh, any other questions? It's 804, so we probably need to think about going. Yeah. Governor DeWine in Ohio changed his mind again about opening things up. Yeah. Yeah. God, she can't get an unemployment for six weeks. She's been trying to get unemployment. God bless her. Oh I'm God. so sorry. That Campgrounds just... in Michigan are closed until the yeah, end of June. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my God. What the heck? How... Show uh, me the science. The Michigan, that the that. Michigan governor is. She's like no wire hangers. <laughs> she's that chick. She, she is, so is. She is mommy dearest, y'all. Yeah, she really is. She is crazy. Uh, any other questions before we have to go? People are just talking about government now. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, listen, I, I'm not go. saying that they're not good. There are good people, I'm sure, in government. It's just that they're they well-intentioned. They're well-intentioned. It's just that, you know, we can, you can't just look to them and be like, yes, sir, may I have another? I yeah. mean, it's okay to be a critical thinker and <laughs> think for yourself. Good Lord. All right. Let's go you know what we um have got some eating to do <laughs> we've got some eating to do 
It's oh breakfast God. time. <laughs> it's breakfast time here at the Chicks on the Right studio. Whoever sent this, you've got to send us. Send us an email. An email. Chicks at WIBC.com. Yes. Let us know who you are because that is seriously, we're, it, we're very touched. Yeah, we are. By you sending us a bag of dicks. It's, it's like the nicest thing <laughs> ever. Sweetest so nice. Guess. So sweet, you guys. Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it in. Oh, my gosh. We hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Bye. Talk to you Monday.